This is a 317 looting guide. When I first started making this video, it was just supposed to be a simple, this is what you want, this is how you do it. But while making this, I ended up capturing one of the craziest bunkers in terms of loot I've ever had. Is that another Hot and I box? At the end, we're gonna go through what I made, how I made it, and how you can make that much money too. But before we get started, have you heard of Raid Chat? No, I'm just kidding. Subscribe for more great content and let's get into it. First things first, you can do this pretty much anywhere. I would recommend doing it in space, but we are at Everest Harbor. Everest Harbor, Bajini Point, and Tressler all have cargo decks, so the process is identical at all three of these places. Here's some things you're gonna need. A basic armor set and weapon, a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment, and a one SCU cargo box. I'm gonna show you how to make one. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head to the medical clinic and set your spawn. After that, you're gonna head over to the cargo deck. Once you're at the console, click miscellaneous and you'll see they do have containers. These are not what you want. Under personal weapon, you're going to grab one multi-tool and one tractor beam attachment. After that, you're going to head over to undersuits and you're going to buy a beacon undersuit. After that, you're going to head over to armor and you're going to buy a horizon helmet and a backpack. Technically, you only need one, but I'm going to buy a few just in case. Now that we've wrapped up our shopping, we're going to head back to our hangers and habs. And we're going to call out our Avenger Titan. Now there's lots of ships that you can do this in. So if you don't have a Titan, a Nomad, Cuddy Black, etc. You might want to go watch my other guide on how to make money, which would be here at the top of the screen. So before we head out to our Titan, we're going to make sure the only thing we're wearing is the white undersuit and helmet. Now this is the important part. Once you're in your ship, you're going to use the local inventory to transfer a single backpack over to your Avenger Titan. Here in a minute, you're going to destroy your own ship. This is going to prompt the game to make a box out of the leftover loot that's on the ship. Because the backpack is too big for the small box, it will automatically put it in a 1 SCU box. I'm going to put two backpacks on just to be safe. Next step, you're going to head out of Armistice Zone. This is really important for two reasons. A, you don't want to give yourself crime stat. B, you want to make sure that box spawns and sometimes it doesn't inside Armistice Zone. So we'll head out of the ship. If you'd like, you can take off the beacon undersuit. You can put it inside your ship, and this will be part of the loot box whenever you get back. Once out of the ship, we'll just hold backspace. This will reset us back to Everest Harbor. So we're going to head back to the ASOP terminal, and we're going to claim our Avenger Titan. Yes, you're going to claim the ship that's out there with your loot on it. Then we're going to go ahead and equip anything that we want on us at the bunker. Armor, weapons, medical, multi-tool. And with the multi-tool, make sure you are dragging the tractor beam attachment onto the multi-tool so it has one. If you want to double check and make sure the attachment's in there, you can hold F to interact with the multi-tool and go to customize. You'll see that the tractor beam attachment indeed is there. After that, we'll head out to our pad. And if you look up, you'll see that our ship and our body are still there. Next step, super simple. You're just going to blow up the ship. This will prompt the game to make the one SU box. You'll see it right there. At this point, easy peasy, you'll just tractor beam it into the ship. And you'll see that all the loot that you had is in there. Next, I'm going to make a quick pit stop at Everest, drop off that loot so I have an empty box ready to put more stuff in. After that, we're going to be heading to Microtech. And you might be asking yourself, why Microtech? Well, these are the items you want to look out for. On the left side of the screen, you can see items that I've said are for selling, things such as weapons and gems. Gems being especially valuable. These are special gems that spawn in bunkers. The only place I've seen them spawn is at Microtech, in caves, and at Lyria. And then on the right side of the screen, these are items you don't need a million of. You'll only be looting them when you need them, such as armor, ammo, multi-tools, knives, once we're in Microtech, the mission you're looking for is Security Contractor Evaluation. This is going to be in Mercenary, and it's going to tell you to head to a bunker on Microtech. Keep in mind, once you land, there are two types of bunkers. These bunkers should be one turret, and in that case, what you're going to want to do is just land right behind the building. These turrets shouldn't shoot you, but to be safe, the turret can't see you here. If you happen to get a bunker that has four turrets, you're going to want to land somewhere completely outside of the turrets. There are no blind spots.
Now, I forgot to press record on this part, so this is a different bunker, but I wanted to show the process of me bringing a box inside. If you hold R, you can rotate the box, or you can kind of wait for them to spin, is the best way I can describe it. Once you're down in the bunker, you're gonna wanna move your box just a little bit in off the elevator, and then go ahead and clear the bunker. Oh, mother of God, it's a bloodbath. Frozen 6169, your sacrifice was not in vain. We will remember you. And done. Now it is time to get the loot. Again, I'm collecting weapons and gems here for the most part. And how I'm doing this is I'm looting them three at a time. One in my hands, two on my back. Pro tip, if you click on filters and then sort by something that's not in your box, such as vehicle weapons, you can move your weapons into the box with an empty screen. They'll move into the box, but you won't have to deal with moving them around the stuff that's already in there. So I'm just going to work through here with the box, moving it closer and closer. That was until... This is the jackpot. The white lockers are the ones that have the Had Knight in them. These 1,370 USCU gems are exactly what you're looking for in these bunkers. These are the jackpot. So I'm going to go ahead and start the painful process of moving these over one by one. Now that I have carpal tunnel and I'm finished with that, I'm expecting to loot the rest of the bunker as normal. And I find a second Hadonite box. I did notice that these boxes happen to double spawn on top of each other. So make sure that you do open both of them. Then after that, I go ahead and just hit the rest of the bunker, every weapon chest, every medical supply, and I'm just going to fill my one SCU box up as much as I can. And just as we're wrapped up, this happens. Whatever. Um, there's another one here. Another hot night crate. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Dude, this is like... Is that another hot night box? How many have we found so far? Four or five? Uh, one, two, three, four. At least four. I literally cannot wait to see how much all this sells for. So after we're wrapped up, we'll go ahead and take a peek on our way up. So at first when I was looking at this, I was a little bit confused. I thought the game had kind of deleted some of our weapons in Haddon Knight. And that's when I realized that this is only page one and that there is a second page of loot with more Haddon Knight and more weapons. So this is a absolutely massive hole for a single bunker. Here's the good news though, is if you don't get this much from a single bunker, you can hit a second bunker or until you feel like your looting desires are fulfilled. If you don't know how selling works, 50% is the minimum amount you can get for an item. 90% is the maximum amount, but you will get more selling the weapon to a shop that has those items. We're gonna go ahead and head to Mike L1. The reason being is the best place to sell Had Knight is at the admin office and every station has one. The best place to sell weapons is at a weapon shop and Mike L1 has one. Once at the station, the hardest part of the whole looting process begins, dumping the loot into the local inventory. It is a little bit tedious, but it's really not that hard at all. Again, going to filters and sorting by vehicle parts is going to help a ton here. Now for the grand reveal, we're going to head to the Galleria. Let's see how much we made off the Hot Knight and the weapons. Okay, the Dolvine is selling for 33k, and I want you to guess how much the Hot Knight is selling for. Uh, 100? 178,000. <laughs> That's by far the most I've made off of a single bunker. Then we're going to one by one sell every weapon we have at the weapon shop. So let's go ahead and add up what we made. 15,000 for the original mission. Plus, if you have call to arms on, that's going to be another 5,000. Then the Dolvine coming in at 33,800. The Hana is selling for 178,000. Then finally, all the weapons and the medical supplies selling for 76,400. That is going to leave us with a grand total of 308,950. For one bunker, that is not bad at all. And I want you to keep in mind, some of the higher tier bunkers pay up to 90k. 
So best case scenario, you could be walking out with almost 400K. Now, before everyone gets up in arms or says this is unfair or OP, I would say with the time it takes, it's actually not the best way to make money, but it is a fun and cool different way to make money. For doing some FPS missions in a spaceship game, I'd say that's not bad. The last thing I wanted to show you is if you store your box onto your ship, you'll see that when I pull it back out, it is persistent. So don't be scared to store your ship. Don't be scared to log with your box. It will disappear sometimes, it's random, but most of the time your box will stay persistent. And with that, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below or come catch me live on Twitch. I stream almost every day. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Lots of tree, lots of trees. Almost. I'm going! Yep. Oh, that was sick! and with that happy looting thank you again for watching i will see you in the verse in 317 this is captain burks signing off